Steve Major from Kofa Engineering in Bristol. It's a mechanical engineering machining workshop um, and now sort of run a lot of support for frame builders so a bit of a workshop extension doing jobs they don't want to do or jobs they don't have time to do. There are a couple of bicycle brands, so to speak, that I make standard frames for. Other frames that I do will be just a one-off so they can see if it's a feasible bike to go ahead with. But then some of my customers are, are private people that want me to make a complete bike. I miter tubes for people, but I also offer to tack together the tube set into a complete frame assembly. I then send it back to the customer in a wooden frame block that keeps it all straight. And this is usually for amateur builders who want to make a couple of frames without a lot of the initial investment. Uh, the smallest would be um, STI bosses, when people just want a particular knurled finish Brake bridges or common work for me. I mean, we still make tooling for people. We do make frame jigs, but they're they're more production use. Tooling is usually for people that are setting up to make a run of 50 frames, and they don't want the adjustability. They just want a production jig. I'm I'm happy working in anything. You know, titanium, aluminium, steel. I prefer TIG welding, that's more my background is welding rather than fillet brazing. Make composite moulds for people or moulds for composite bikes. So don't do a lot of composite construction because usually more machining moulds for people. Yeah, so the, the tallest man in Britain bike, that almost came about by accident. I was going to be involved in a project just making some of the parts but Neil and his guys that were helping him source the bike decided to, to commission it from me. Yeah so he's you know 25 30 percent taller than you know the British average but if you just scale the geometry up the the whole structure of the bike's gone so it was a case of trying to make it strong enough without it looking too strange, trying to make it rigid without it being full of gussets and bracing and everything's wooden, obviously you're allowed to use glue. The the drivetrain is wood based, so it was a wood fibre string. Lots of plywood because that's obviously engineered to be strong already. At Bespokes it's always good to, to put yourself out for being willing to do something different. 